Hey everyone, and welcome to a How to Make Comics video by yours truly, the St. Thomas Elgin Public Art Center. How to make comics. Sounds impossible, right? Well, I'm going to help you break it down into some simple steps to start thinking before putting pencil to paper. So let's start mapping out our main character. Are they male, female, alien, or robot? It's entirely up to you. Now, what's their style? Their size? Are they tall and lengthy or short and muscular? Do they even come with superpowers? All yours and more to discover and to make a comic book reality. But what if I lack inspiration? Lacking inspiration? Not on my watch. Here, I have some wonderful editorial cartoons. They were done by the artist named Ting. Check out these characters. King here had a talent for telling story with just one frame. Not only were the characters engaging, but they tell a thrilling and informative story. To learn more about Ting and his artwork, check out our website, as always, as well as hurry down to see the exhibition, where his art will be showcased, but only for a limited time. So what are you waiting for? Come and visit us! Now that we have our characters planned out, let's find out what story we will be telling. Will there be never-ending conflict? Or will there be friendship and happiness to be found? You decide. This conversation has me so emotional. Speaking of emotions, it's crucial to know how to draw them to convey our stories. We've all heard of these emotions, mad, sad, and happy. And knowing how to draw those are quite important but visualize them as our base, for emotions can be so much more complex, and thus, so must our drawings. Take these for example, confident, worried, and relieved. By practicing the realm of emotion through our drawings, we help push our story. Captivate your readers by showing off what your hero is truly thinking and feeling. Notice the curved lines? This helps me find the specific point of view as to where my character is looking. And from here, I can start putting in my features. Whew! Now that's a relief. Time to check out some more Ting artwork. Here is a clear demonstration of emotion captured in these characters. Just by looking at them, you can quickly figure out their motives and their feelings, their purpose in the comic, and an overall perception of their personality. Leave a comment down below if you know who these two are. Cheers to that! Time to talk about posing. What is posing? Well, it's the position we put our characters in when we draw them. Flow is an important aspect of posing because our goal is to show our audience what our characters are doing and feeling. Here are some examples. We'll have our characters sitting, walking, and in a heroic pose. I always start with a circle for the head but I don't mind replacing it and figuring out its placement as I go along and draw. That's why it's a good habit to draw lightly. Now for walking. I like to map out my poses even with just a stick figure like drawing, then building upon that. It's heroic pose time. I like to give my heroic poses broad shoulders, so I tend to draw a triangular shape for the torso. But wait, is it dynamic? In my opinion, those poses were pretty stiff. So let's do some sprucing up and add some flow. So let's try this again with our sitting, walking, and heroic poses. Again, I draw my head first, followed up by a curved line that goes with the body that makes things less stiff. I find that when my character looks stiff, it makes it hard to convey what they're going through. So always remember to ask yourself, not only what is my character doing, but how are they feeling? Next, our walking pose where my character is feeling extra down on their luck, but I can convey that with the curved line in their back and their hunched over head. 
I also used two circles to break up the torso and the belly area, a small one for the chest, and a larger circle for the waist area. And finally, our hero. Instead of a vertical line leading the body, I've used a slight curve in the body that leads down into the leg. Dynamic posing, I got you down. Ting time. Here is some Ting artwork to help show some awesome and dynamic poses. Nice. Now that's some flow. Let's review the basics. Who are they? Find out everything about your character before putting pencil to paper. Next, push the boundaries on expression. Don't settle for happy, mad, and sad. Let's be the master of all expression and practice those. Third, find a flow in your drawings that'll help make it known what your characters are up to in the world that you created. And finally, start practicing these steps to soon create your meaningful dream comic. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos where I'll go into more detail on comic book making. Visit our website to learn more about Ting and what we got going on here. As always, keep on making stunning art and we'll see you around.